I'm Seymour. I'm John Mark. John Mark and I would like to welcome all the out-of-state billboard lawyers to Chattanooga. And if your attorneys from out of town need to know how to get to the courthouse, it's right here on the map. Call us at 265 Earth. That's 265-4878. We are your local law firm. People don't really realize how much of an impact the feet have on the rest of the body. A lot of times people with knee pain, there's really nothing going on with their knee. The issue is actually stemming from the foot. So now we're predisposed to hip pain, low back pain. What I really like about the Good Feet system is that when the foot's placed in the ideal position, everything else up the kinetic chain works better. You have better balance, more energy, you're going to feel better and you're not going to have to spend so much time worrying and thinking about your pain. See what we can do for you with a free arch support fitting at the Good Feet store. When you call Morgan & Morgan, America's largest injury law firm, your very own army springs into action immediately. 24-7, our investigators, legal staff, and over 900 lawyers work together to fight to get you the best result as quickly and easily as possible. Insurance companies know who we are, and now you know it too. This firm was built for greatness. This firm was built for you. Injured? Call your army. We're ready to roll. Morgan & Morgan, for the people. Want to furnish your home with something that's personally yours? You can, with custom-made furniture from Bassett Chattanooga. Your colors, your fabrics, your styles. Right now, save 30% on Benchmade Motion and Dining, plus 25% on all other furniture and rugs. It's nice when it's yours, but it's even better when it's personally yours. The Personally Yours Custom Event going on now. Bassett Chattanooga at the Gun Barrel Entrance to Hamilton Place, celebrating 25 years of serving Chattanooga. Maybe it began with lyrics written from the heart, which led us to a place where we can connect with those who mean the most. Join us at our incredible parks and resorts. Dollywood. Love every moment. Good morning. If you are inside watching us, I'm sure that you are glad you're not outside not watching us. What a yucky day it is today. But you know what? The payoff is coming this weekend because boy, oh boy, do we have beautiful weather ahead. And that's what we're going to celebrate with our first guests this morning because Kim Battle and Brian Smith kick things off with us this morning. They are both with Chattanooga Parks and Outdoors mm -hmm. and I'm going to project ahead to the free Easter hunt, Easter egg hunt that y'all have at Warner Park on Saturday. Yes. But the truth is you got lucky Kim. Mm -hmm. There's one tonight and it's all indoors, right? right. Yes, that's going to be at the John A. Patton Community Center uh, in Tiftonia, Tennessee with Miss Tracy Womp. She is changing her building into like an Easter extravaganza. We're trying to just get an early start on Easter and bring in the younger kids. Of course, the Easter Bunny is going to stop by early uh, on that day and uh, we're going to be doing the crafts and uh, uh, they're going to decorate plastic eggs and they're going to decorate mini baskets, music. Um, uh, they get to decorate cookies with an Easter theme, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Photo booth. <laughs> I was telling my husband this morning on the way in, all of a sudden I've got these pangs of nostalgia. My girls are older, mm -hmm. Addie's getting older, um, and it's you miss those days. So yeah. man, jump on the memory making train yeah. while you can. Absolutely. Right? Yes, yes, right. it is. Okay, so that's tonight. It is. Uh, come early, pick the kids up from school and just come on over. Mm -hmm. 4 30. 4 30 to, to 7 p.m. Okay, free of charge. Free of charge and all indoors. And know. all indoors. <laughs> if you don't get enough of the Easter fun, right. then on Saturday, I mean, y'all been yes. doing this at Warner Park for a long time. Kim. Yes, it's our go to place. It's actually one of my favorite parks in the city. Uh, we do so many things, but yes, we have our uh, annual youth Easter hunt. Uh, Saturday it is from 11 uh, to 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. and we are uh, looking for ages 11 and under. We got something for the older people later and uh, the Easter Bunny. We got also uh, I don't know if it really has anything to do with Easter, but uh, characters. We have a tiger costume, a panther costume, and we're just gonna let those uh, characters interact with the Easter Bunny. We do this great, it's called a bunny walk, so that's why we bring in some more, more characters. So the kid, it's, it's like a trail, and the kid, and it's colorful, the kids get to walk it with the oh, different fun. animals, and so. They bring, do they bring a basket, a bag, yeah. does it matter, uh, whatever it, It'd be best if you have, bring your own bag, but we will have some on hand if case uh, you uh, missed that part. Now here's the thing, Kim seems all nice <laughs> and go with the flow here on TV this morning, but she said to Brian, we have to stress, the Easter egg hunt on Saturday <laughs> starts at what time? 11. 
to 2, and the hunt starts at 11, 1.30 p.m. sharp. 1.30 <laughs> sharp. So you know how whenever we're through with an interview, all the information pops up at the yeah. end? <laughs> they it's even sharp. wrote on there, sharp. <laughs> she is not playing around, so don't show up late. Yeah. Right? We, you know, we want people to come and have fun, enjoy some of the games and activities, sure. and then have the hunt at 1.30, and then, you know, they can all can up and go home after that. <laughs> Who hides the eggs? Uh, I have team leaders of about five people that will come out and uh, hide the eggs for, uh, we have it like six and under hunt together and then uh, seven and eight, then nine, 10 and 11 hunt together. Oh, that's good. So because it's divided up. You've got to make some of them pretty obvious for the little bitties. Well, they're pretty obvious. We just pretty much throw them out on the lawn. So oh. that's about the best we can do. We don't really hide them, but the kids still enjoy it. You said to me that Warner Park is one of your favorite parks in it the is. city. There, Brian sits with a magazine in his hand called City in a Park. Yeah. yeah. You want people to come pick this up. So what we have here, this is our 44 page activity guide. So what we've talked about here today is that we've got activities in Lookout Valley to Warner Park and of course this upcoming weekend we've got Easter Egg Hunts at Heritage Park, uh, Easter Egg Coolidge of course, so a lot of others that are utilizing our parks. So that, that tells you how uh, important our park system is. But this one here, as you kind of flip through here, these are just all of the different activities and events that we have going on, whether it's signing up for youth sports for spring or for summer, or it's just some of the youth uh, or some of the events that we have, including our chat down cool down that's returning, uh, movies in the park that's returning, as well as outdoor, outdoor Chattanooga activities. You know, I'm just kind of flipping through here, park steward activities and volunteer activities. So. This is just basically everything that we have to offer as far as programs go mm -hmm. for activities here in the city. And most of them are free. And there's outdoor Chattanooga, so if you're looking to learn how to canoe and kayak, we'll teach you. We've got uh, Kim's doing a couple of bike rodeo type events that'll mm -hmm. be happening at some of our centers, as well as movies in the park. She's busy. So all that in this little guide right here. And I think that I think what y'all have done is we've always had a lot of parks in the city. Mm -hmm. They right. haven't always had a lot of attention and been right. vibrant. Right. So you've worked really hard to bring back those true community parks, Kim, yes, to yes. make them really reflect the community that surrounds them. Right, like we're gonna continue with that. Uh, also on Saturday, we have the teen, that night, we have a teen Easter egg. It's not really Easter egg hunt, we call it a glow hunt. It's for our older audience, like 12 to uh, uh, 16, and mm -hmm. we, we had to move it to the Brainerd Community Center, which we call that a park too, the Brainerd Park. But it's going to be a lot of fun where we're going to have music. Some of the, even the Easter Bunny is showing up for the teens. It's going to be a lot of fun. So the team leaders have all these team building games for the teens to do. And at a certain time when it gets dark, we have these glow balloons, oh, fun. glow eggs, all kind of glow necklaces. And we have music and some snacks. So it's just something to, uh, we know the teens do not want an Easter egg hunt, but right. we want them to uh, get out and do some things in the community as well. Very so, important for them to feel important. that support. So where do we get the city in the park? So we've only got just a few copies left. You can pick oh. up some at Outdoor Chattanooga, but we have the available online as well. Okay. So you go to chattanooga.gov slash parks and you can download your own copy. There's a little flip book there as well. And I mean, if you're looking for something to do, there's plenty of available. Yeah here in this magazine. And you'll be surprised because if in your head you're kind of listing them off as Coolidge, Warner Park. Um, There's only 84 of them. <laughs> right, that's right. Keep going, you're doing there good. There are so many, so many. Okay, so this uh, Saturday, 11 to 2, one thirty sharp is when the hunt starts. Bring your bag and your smiles and a lot of fun to Warner Park. The hunts will be divided by age. And right. tonight, uh, if you've got kids, how old, Kim? Uh, it, I would say maybe 10 and under. 10 and under. Um, then head over to... John A. Patton. John A. Patton. Look up, Valley. 4.30 to 7. Great to see you both. Thank, Thank you. you. Happy Easter. Your child could shine as a Local 3 junior forecaster. Wednesdays at 5.30 on Local 3 News. If they love the weather and can read on camera, send a video to juniorforecaster at local3news.com. Presented by Warren and Griffin, your local five-star law firm. What we do at Scenic City Neurotherapy is designed to help people feel things in a better way by enhancing the way the brain communicates. Imagine if you were going to run a marathon, but you had a broken leg. You would work twice as hard as everyone else, you would do the work, you would train, but you would always fall behind. What we do helps get the physiology of the brain working to your benefit, to make sure that when you do the work, you get the gains. How? Mm -hmm. Budget Breaks will replace your breaks for the lowest price anywhere, and you get a lifetime guarantee. <sighs> Relax.
<laughs> Budget breaks. Breaks starting at just a hundred bucks. Relaxing. At the Chattanooga Men's Clinic, we've seen the negative effects that ED can inflict on relationships. But once you come in, there's no greater joy experiencing restored intimacy that can change your life. Did you know our patients average three failures with pills in other places before they see us? Let's stop the pattern of failure together. If you're serious about treating your ED, call us and we'll show you why for a decade our team has been number one in Tennessee for men's health. Call 423-402-9720 or go to ChattanoogaMensClinic.com. Zaxby's has been perfecting chicken fingers for 30 years. And now we're going to the sea. Shrimp butterflied and fried to perfection. And a perfect blend of Zax sauce and cocktail sauce called Zax Tail Sauce. The perfect southern fried shrimp meal. Woo saucy. Zaxby's. Summer is for camp at Reflection Riding. Our campers discover nature and wildlife with new friends, exploring a forest full of fun for ages 5 to 13. Make this summer your child's wildest adventure yet. Scan the QR code now to sign up. Local 3 School Patrol, covering the classrooms in your community. It is no secret that kids learn in all different types of ways. Some of you watching may have children who learn very well simply by reading. Some might learn better when something is spoken to them, but all kids seem to really retain the knowledge they learn when they touch it and feel it and work it. And that has certainly been the experience over at Green Spaces for the last several years. And April 5th and 6th, it's time once again for the annual Green Pre. We're so happy this morning to have Bryce Brakey here. He happens to be the manager for the event. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Thanks for having me. So I'm glad to have you. So years ago, I don't know how many now, I'll just pretend and say seven. Pre-COVID. Pre-COVID, yes. Um, and we have had in the past teams come in who were going to be entering their cars in the Green Prix with the cars. And it's fascinating, Bryce, to see what these young people are creating. Oh, absolutely. So yeah, we have elementary, middle, and high schools all across Hamilton County, a couple outside of Hamilton County as well, that work and build these electric vehicles. And man, you can tell, like we said, pre-COVID, it's been a while. So these teams that come back time and time again, you can see them optimizing and optimizing, and just getting better, stronger competition. And they have like these crazy cool ideas that they come up with just to go that little bit faster. So yes. They've been out there a while and you, you mentioned, you know, the hands on experience. We really, you know, we go for that STEM education portion. We're mm -hmm. really pushing for them to be student driven. So they're the ones problem solving, overcoming that adversity mm -hmm. with guidance and kind of direction coming from their advisors. OK, so the, the race itself is April 5th and 6th back out at Volkswagen again, which is yes. a great course. Yes. for them. So really what you're encouraging people to do if they have the time that weekend is to come out and support, but also just be aware of the work you're doing at Green Spaces. Yes, if you could come out, the event is free to the public. There's a spectating area for you all to come out and watch the race from. Mm -hmm. um, the Rotary Club will be out there both days with lunch. And if you're interested in volunteering, there's a ton of different things you can do at the track. You can work on the course, you can work in the pits, you can donate a couple hours of time, you can donate your whole day. There's a bunch of different options that if you're interested in, you can go to our website, greenspaceschattanooga.org, mm -hmm. and it'll take you straight to our volunteer page. There. How old are the the teams like at what age do you start so the youngest grade we have it by grades is is fourth fourth okay. grade okay so the elementary the elementaries they technically can have assistance from sixth graders as well but it'd be fourth fifth and sixth and they're in their own category they race the goblin cars and then we have middle school and high school teams that race in the same category and they race the f24 car so you're a student at utc you're studying applied leadership. That will be your major. So I'm sure that the work you're doing at Green Spaces is pretty relevant because through the hands-on learning, these kids are learning leadership skills too, right? Oh, absolutely. And one of the proponents we've recently added was there being like even a pit boss. So someone that's like controlling oh, wow. the team that is like, hey, you need to be doing this, you need to be doing that. And we have hands-on demonstrations actually where teams will have to come in and work on a car, fix up a little bit so they can get presentation points. So our scoring isn't necessarily just come out and finish first. Mm -hmm. You also have to do a presentation to show some of that education that you've learned uh, along the way plus how you do in the race as well, but it's a combined thing. And yeah, we absolutely have leaders that we're pushing for inside of the groups. Um, I'm going to these schools and helping them with practice and kind of giving my two cents to help yeah. them become the leaders themselves. Well, I mean, it is a true team effort. I mean, I think, yes. what is it, like six or so people on a team? Do you know? Does it vary school to school? It, it varies heavily. <laughs> well, but you've got these opinionated kids <laughs> all of whom are seeing their own spin on the problem at hand. So they've got to learn 
when to speak up, when to listen, how to diplomatically make their point. It's a lot involved, right? Yeah, absolutely. And, and we really encourage people to drive as well because that's one of the biggest things is they'll, you know, they'll have fun helping the team and working on the car. But they'll be anxious. They don't want to make a mistake or something like that. Mm -hmm. We're really encouraging people, especially young women, um, to start driving. And so we've done things like girls only practice. And that'll help get them in the car and get them, you know, through the door to feel a little bit more comfortable behind the wheel and go from there. Let's talk about race days then, April 5th and 6th. It's depending on the age uh, of the team, right? Who races which day? Yes, April 5th will be for the elementary goblin cars. And then April 6th will be for the F24 middle and high school teams. So what does the course look like for them? <laughs> we try our best to make it racy. It, at first, it was just kind of like an oval, like your general NASCAR track. But we've really worked hard at making it more like an IndyCar or F1 track, if you're familiar, to make it a little bit more swoopy, have some you know, long corners. You have to figure the track out a little bit. It's not just, mm -hmm. hey, let's take another left turn. So we let them walk the track prior to racing. We make sure they have driving experience in the car before they get out there and they should take it slow when they start out and learn the course and go from there. But it's, it's swoopy, it's fun. And the cars are completely electric? Yes. Okay, they're not solar, they're electric, correct? Yes. Is that one and the same? Well, you can charge the batteries with solar power. <laughs> oh, see, I learned something. Um, if schools are watching and they would like their school to have a team, mm -hmm. how, when, how do they reach out to you? Can yeah, they so do you, that? Yes, absolutely. You can appoint an advisor to run a STEM education club. It doesn't need to be anything specific. We then work with that club, providing them the car kit, parts, helmets, you, you name it. The students then take that and, and put together their car and get their teams ready for the race. Does the winner win anything besides bragging rights? It's mostly bragging rights. Okay. We kind of give some banners and trophies and stuff like that, mm -hmm. uh, but it, it's mostly it's mostly bragging rights. For All right. Sure. So here's what you can do. If you want to go out and cheer them on, maybe you've got a young person at home uh, who might be interested in doing this at their school or what have you, April 5th and 6th over at VW Chattanooga. You can always learn more at greenspaceschattanooga.org. Yes. Great to see you. Thank you so much. An important message for Americans age 50 to 85. Hey, honey. Uh, looks like my to-do list grew. Paint the bathroom, give Baxter hey. a bath, get life insurance. Hmm. Have a few minutes. I can do that now. Oh, that fast. Remember that colonial pen ad? I called and I got information. They sent the simple form I need to apply. All I do is fill it out and send it back. Well, that sounds too easy. Give a little information, check a few boxes, sign my name. Done. They don't ask about your health? Uh, no health questions. Physical exam? Don't need one. It's Colonial Pen Guaranteed Acceptance Whole Life Insurance. The name says it all. If you're between the ages of 50 and 85, your acceptance is guaranteed in most states, even if you're not in the best health. That's one reason this plan is so popular. The price is another. Options start at $9.95 a month, 35 cents a day. Once insured, your rate will never increase. A lifetime rate lock guarantees it. And to make budgeting easier, you decide how and when to pay. You have your choice of convenient payment options, and you can pick your own premium due date. Keep in mind, this is lifetime protection. As long as you pay your premiums, it's yours to keep. Call for more information and the simple form you need to apply today. There's no obligation and you'll receive a free beneficiary planner just for calling. Hmm. Forgetting something. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Call 1-800-673-7570 for your free information and your free beneficiary planner. That's 1-800-673-7570. There's no obligation. 1-800-673-7570. Call now. Man, we are going to give you something fun to do with the whole family, and we're going to also make you so proud of the community that we're all a part of. Even if you don't live in Ringgold proper, you're going to be so proud that it's in your own backyard. Evan Kennedy is here. He's here to talk about the Unity 
Park, right? What am I wanting to really call it? Crossroads Unity. Crossroads Unity Park. We've been discussing this on the show for a number of years now, maybe as many as four or five, would you say? Honestly, this project has probably been going for about twice that long. Twice that long. Um, since the original idea and conception, but uh, we're ready to, as, as I like to tell them, we're ready to paint or get off the ladder. So let me explain to people, <laughs> if I can quickly, what this is, because I told you you're going to be proud of where you live. So we'll use Evan's math 10 years ago. Uh, there was an idea to come up with a park that was designed to unify the community to allow, especially parents who might be in wheelchairs or have some disabilities, to be able to play with their kids at the playground. Is that basically it? Exactly. And it was veteran driven. Absolutely. So it's dedicated to all U.S. veterans in memory of Troy Dyer, who was in a wheelchair, a paraplegic. And um, the park is for all abilities, though. So not just children with disabilities, but also adults, mm -hmm. uh, wheelchairs, crutches, whatever. It's, it, this park is truly remarkable. And perhaps um, we think the only one of its kind in the country with quite this approach, right? Yes, I mean, there are other parks that are similar, but we want people, we wanna be one of those parks that when, you, when other places, other communities are building playgrounds and parks that they think of the one in Ringgold, Georgia right. that's, that's gonna be built. So, so. here's where my, my excitement comes into play. The idea itself is a great one to try to fight for it essentially, an uphill battle for 10 years and not give up, that is no small accomplishment. So you're there, you've got the land, you've got the vision, you've got the board, and now coming up in April, you've got the fundraiser. Absolutely, so on April 27th, we're gonna have another fundraiser. We've done concerts and other events. This one is gonna be a car show and motorcycle. So if you have a car or bike you wanna bring out, it's on Saturday, April 27th from nine to three. It's a free event to the public, and I think it's only going to be 20 or $25 if you want to register your vehicle. We're going to have special guests. I want to point out, we're going to have Crazy Chuck from the TV show Moonshiners. He's going oh, to be there. Wow. But I really want to, um, to point out this one. Layla Shook, she's a 12-year-old girl from Ringgold. She was born with a genetic disorder called Apert Syndrome. She's had 61 surgeries, and she is the reason why we're building this park. Because she, she is somebody who would benefit. She is such an inspiration. I want y'all to at least come by and, and, and meet this young girl because she is truly remarkable. You know, um, this is a park that will benefit so many people because Ringgold is just, you know, a stone's throw from downtown Chattanooga. Anybody watching would be able to go and access it. But you got to talk a little bit about that hometown pride in Ringgold, Georgia. It runs deep, deep, deep. Well, we are, you know, we're a very proud um, community. We love people. We love uh, the children of our community. And we just want, you know, we want people like, um, not to name drop, but the people like Dolly Parton and people that um, have had ties to Ringgold to come back and be able to, you know, come to this park and bring mm -hmm. their family and their friends and, and really enjoy it. And so it's going to be so unique, Julie. I can't really begin with the time we have to describe some of right. the pieces, but there's gonna be uh, sensory pieces and uh, a tree house there that the kids can actually take a wheelchair up to the tree house. There's just gonna, it's, it's really gonna be incredible. Well, you're right. We can't get into too much of the detail, but it sounds like the committee that has fought so to see this happen has not let go of the control, if you will. So they're happy to bring in experts to add to the vision, but this is gonna be a truly Ringgold created park. Absolutely, and we have partnered with a company called Game Time. They're a play core company, and they are right here in Chattanooga, Tennessee, mm -hmm. which we think is, is really awesome. We're so glad to have them on board because they can, they can actually mold or create any piece that we want. So that's why the budget for this thing has kind of increased because mm -hmm. the vision has increased as we've went through. And, and I'm telling you guys, we are, we need to get this thing underway. So here's, here's what you can know today. First of all, if you love bikes and cars, or if you have a bike or a car that you'd love to show, go ahead and register it uh, for the event happening at the Colonnade at the end of April. Uh, it's pretty cheap to enter. The proceeds will all go back to uh, raise the funds for this park. As far as who will benefit from it, you heard Evan mention children, yes but all children will because if their parents have any type of a disability that would otherwise prevent them from going and pushing them on the swing or enjoying that playground time, this park will provide it. Absolutely, and you can get all this information and much more at our website. That's where all this info is. It's crossroadsunity.org. 
reach out to us if you want to make a donation. We would be honored to uh, have those funds because we do have a long ways to go to reach our goal. So that's what they're going to do. They go to Crossroads Unity Park. Dot org. Just crossroadsunity.org org. and all the information is there if you want to reach out to us, get more information. Uh, please do. We'd love to talk with you. We'd love to have you come by and, and meet with our committee if you need to or whatever we need to do. But we hope to have this park done by 2025. We're going to hope that we can help you accomplish that. It's always great to see you. My pleasure. Thank you. Here again is the event, April 27th at the Colonnade. Uh, do they have to have a deadline to get their car or bike entered in that? Do you no, know? No, ma'am. Just come on. Just come on. Bring your $25 <laughs> and come on. Crossroadsunity.org. And don't forget, though, the event that day is free for you to go and enjoy. If you wanted to make a donation, they would happily accept it. Great to see you. You too. It's like playing a video game, but in real life! Yes! When we bring a truckload of magic to your house, that magic is yours to keep! Big open rooms without clutter, and that feeling of fresh air freedom. Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK. Some people think they can't afford an injury lawyer. But that's not true, is it, Brett? Nope, not at all. It didn't cost me one single penny up front to hire the insiders. They got me $500,000. You've been hurt in a car wreck. Call us. It's just that easy. Chattanooga's best-kept furniture secret is out of the bag. Everyday Living in Warren Ringgold is the place to go for that stylish farmhouse chic look that's so popular today. Bedroom suites, living and dining rooms, and stylish decor pieces and lighting, all sold for less than the big box stores. We even carry mattress box spring sets and adjustable beds from Bedtech. Discover perfect furniture and home decor that fits your style at the best prices. Everyday Living in Moore, 3969 Cloud Springs Road in Marketplace Plaza, just west of Costco. Follow us on Facebook at Everyday Living in Moore. All I remember seeing is the big truck headlights and then nothing. My wife called Warren and Griffin. They got me $2.4 million. Five stars. I'm C Mark. I'm John Mark. Call us at 265 Hertz. That's 265 4878. We are your local law firm. At Regions, we believe everyone can be good with money. Like Regina, a Regions green print plan is giving her a path to be good with money and open new doors. Or the Coopers, facing competing financial demands. Our guidance is helping them find balance and feel good with money. And for Kyle, adopting better spending habits is letting him adopt Maggie so he can do good with money. You can be good with money too and get on your way to financial confidence. Let Regions show you the way. It's like playing a video game, but in real life! Yes! When we bring a truckload of magic to your house, that magic is yours to keep! Big open rooms without clutter, and that feeling of fresh air freedom. Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK. Recently, we began taking you on a tour of the battles of Chickamauga and Chattanooga with National Park Ranger Chris Young. This morning, we're continuing that conversation. Absolutely, the day is stunning. It's a beautiful time of year to come down here and soak up the battlefield and all it has to offer. But any visit should begin inside at the Visitor Center. The Visitor Center is so pretty when you walk in, but you have chosen to begin our conversation. This is called the Gun Room. Is that where we are? So it's it's technically the Fuller Gun Collection, named okay. after the individuals who collected all of these weapons. So this is not really your field of expertise. The, uh, the treasure of guns here is really top in its class. It is. But yeah. the history is what you know so well. So kind of refresh my memory, Chris. We've begun almost in reverse order with our tour because the battle for Chickamauga really came first, right? Yeah, so um, this battle is fought September 18th, 19th, and 20th of 1863. And if you've come along with us, we started um, in Chattanooga. Right. And so this battle happens, and then two months later, the battles for Chattanooga happen. We've visited Lookout Mountain, we've been to Missionary Ridge, we've been to Orchard Knob. Those are the three battles that happened two months after this one. Um, so that's kind of where we are chronologically. All right, in the order of the war then, before they came to Chickamauga, what battle had just taken place that was significant? Um, so just before Chickamauga is the Battle of Gettysburg in okay. Pennsylvania, and then that is July, and then there is this hiatus until September. And some of the soldiers who fought at Gettysburg are actually fighting here at Chickamauga. So they take a train ride down from Virginia to help the Confederates 
win the Battle of Chickamauga. Those of us around here know the battlefield. I mean, that's how we reference it, right? Oh, I'm heading down to the battlefield. And we take it in often for the scenery. The tower has just opened. That's always a draw for people. Um, but you said more than a million people a year, non-locals, mm -hmm. come here. They don't always come in here to the visitor center, and they should. Yeah, in 2023, we um, counted over a million visitors. Um, those are visitors who typically use the park in various ways. Most of the people are outside, so we'll catch them coming into the park, using the park, riding bikes, hiking, mm -hmm. um, whatever outdoor activity they're planning to do and a small percentage of them actually come into the visitor center, whether it's here or where we were on Lookout Mountain inside the Lookout Mountain Battlefield Visitor Center. And so I would encourage people, if they come and visit this park, that they come here and that they visit the museum that we have here at Chickamauga. This is where our film is. So if you want an overview of what happened during the Battle of Chickamauga and the battles for Chattanooga, right. This is the place you should come to get that overview film that's 30 minutes long and then go out and explore the park. Go out and see. You know, we, um, when we got here today, all of us commented on how beautiful the day is today. And people were out, like you said, riding bikes and taking it all in. Um, the grounds are so beautiful. It's almost painful to think that such horror happened here. Well, and that's one of the things that I do remind people is that even though you take in this beautiful scenery outside, you hear birds, you see people recreating, you see deer, you see turkeys, um, is that we need to remind ourselves and ground ourselves in that this is a place where significant destruction and death occurred. And so even though this is a beautiful place, it's not really designed as a place of beauty. The veterans wanted to remind us that um, death and destruction happened here and, and not just the beauty that we see around us. And to think from the country's perspective then as you were just saying that we had just gone through Gettysburg mm -hmm. and a few months go by and now you have Chickamauga which was a horrible horrible battle. I mentioned the tower opening. What is the significance of that tower? So the veterans of a specific brigade here, um, about 2,000 soldiers or so, uh, they're going to raise funds uh, during the turn of the century and build this tower. It's, it's actually called the Wilder Brigade Monument, named after John Wilder, who is buried at the foot of Lookout Mountain uh, in Forest Hill Cemetery. He became mayor of Chattanooga very briefly. So he's a really? union, union officer. Um, he fires the first shots into Chattanooga. Um, takes Chattanooga in September, fights the battle here. After the war, comes back, becomes mayor briefly, buried in Forest Hill Cemetery. But his um, men help raise the money to construct that tower to where he and his men fought on September 20th, 1863, during the Battle of Chickamauga. If, uh, so I'm sorry, Chris, it's been a long time yeah. since I was in a history class and a long time since you and I talked. So did the Confederates win Chickamauga? They do. Okay, that's yes. what I thought. So if the yes. Union had won that battle, do you think it would have still continued into Chattanooga? Um, possibly not. Um, if the Confederates had lost the Battle of Chickamauga, the, the Union Army had already taken Chattanooga and they were pressing down from here toward Rome, Georgia, and then eventually Atlanta. So possibly had this battle not gone the way that it did, the Union Army may have been able to continue pressing the Confederate South, and we may have had Atlanta a year prior to when it happens with General Sherman in 1864. It's interesting how one turn mm -hmm. truly affects the course of history. And this battle really does that. Um, there is one misconstrued order on this battlefield in the Union Army that opens up a huge gap in the Union line and Confederates pour through it. So poor communication, um, allowed this hole to be open and Confederates to exploit it accidentally and win the Battle of Chickamauga. So these things, you know, it just shows you that one small problem yeah. or, or something that happens. Or triumph. Or, yeah, yeah. That, that it leads to, to kind of this domino effect. You mentioned like, kind of where this happened, I guess, on the grounds. It's extensive here and there's a lot of, how many acres are here? So um, just at Chickamauga, there's 5,300. That's a lot of yes. land. So when you try to, when you hear Chris say, go out and kind of explore, see the move, uh, the film and then go out and explore, kind of easier said than done. It, it is. You've got this great staff. When we came walking in, they were all smiles. 
people should take advantage of them, shouldn't they? They should. And, and once you watch that film, we do have a brochure that we can give you that takes you on a drive of the park. We have signage that will, you know, hopefully allow you to, to take that tour easily and not get lost mm -hmm. um, out there on the battlefield. But it's, it's extensive. It was the second deadliest battle of the Civil War behind Gettysburg. Right. So these guys who had just fought at Gettysburg in July are fighting in the bloodiest battle of the war. And then just a few months later, they've been shipped down by train and they're fighting at the second bloodiest battle of the war. And so it's, it's, it's really um, a, a place for us to be humbled um, and to remember that um, even though um, these grounds are very inviting to bicycling on the paved surfaces or hiking on the 50 miles of trails that we have at Chickamauga, to never let go that there were, there were soldiers and their families who sacrificed mm -hmm. and, and men who never came home from this battle. Somehow the area itself doesn't seem to let that slip past you. I came down separately to see you today and GPS sent me Reed's Bridge Road mm -hmm. to Lafayette. And I was going just through kind of a populous spot mm -hmm. on Reed's Bridge and then all of a sudden you enter the battlefield and there's just some, something that shifts in you. You feel it. Yeah, it's, it's it, every time driving to work, I feel that and I'm reminded, why are we here? Why do we visit this place? Why do we have all of these monuments and cannons around? And like you said, you can drive from Fort Oglethorpe or drive down Reed's Bridge Road and you're coming out of communities and then all of a sudden you're coming into a forested area and there's a difference there. Well, let me tell you how good he is. While he and I have been talking, I think over my shoulder, there's a group of visitors who are here and we're kind of in their way. <laughs> so we're gonna wrap up our conversation this morning. You'll wanna be among the many people who come here on a regular basis to soak in the history and the beauty. Thank you as always for the history lesson. Thanks, we Julie. appreciate it. Got remodeling on your mind, but your space is too cluttered to get it done? Call All About Storage Container Rental. Our 20-foot containers are bigger and more secure than the other options. Rentals start at just $125 a month. All About Storage Container Rental. 423-267-2129. Dude, have you seen this new video? <laughs> That's good. Being forced to watch a 10-minute video is hard. Hiring Morgan & Morgan for your injury is easy. Oh, that's the wrong video! Morgan & Morgan, America's largest injury law firm, is easy. The Three Graces, representing the essence of beauty, youthfulness, laughter, and elegance. At Three Graces Aesthetics, our mission is to bring out the radiant beauty that's just beneath the skin, all in a friendly, relaxed, professional setting. From reversing the effects of sun to relaxing hydrofacials, laser therapies, Botox, and fillers, let Tracy Scherer and her team bring out the beauty in you. Three Three Graces Aesthetics, 1829 Gun Barrel Road, Suite 101, next to First Watch. Find Three Graces on Facebook to learn more. Alignment. At Budget Brakes, we use the best alignment equipment to straighten out your steering for the best price in town. Visit BudgetBrakes.com. Brakes starting at just 100 bucks. Alignment starting at $59.99. As a busy contractor, Carpet Express is your go-to for personal service and in-stock flooring. As a budget-conscious mom, Carpet Express is your go-to for updating your family's home for the perfect price. As an interior designer, Carpet Express is your go-to for the latest flooring fashions and quality installation. No matter who you are, Carpet Express is America's go-to floor store. Visit us in Dalton, Georgia, exit 328 or carpetexpress.com. Too much clutter has your home bursting at the seams? Call All About Storage Container Rental. We'll bring a 20-foot container